Hi, my name's Daniel, and in this video, I'll be showing you some advanced workflows for working with ZenGuard. Specifically, I'll be demonstrating how to encode, obfuscate, and license your projects to prevent reverse engineering, copyright infringement, and unauthorized modification of your code. So, let's get started. For this tutorial, I'll be using a simple Hello World script, which I've placed on my desktop. I've already created my project in ZenGuard. If you'd like some info on how to do this, please watch the ZenGuard Basics video. Our first action is to encode our project. Encoding is the process where the PHP source code is converted to an intermediate machine-readable format, which is hard for developers to read and convert back to source code. To do this, I'm going to right-click the project in the Guard Explorer and select Encode Project. I'm going to open the file from the project's defined output folder, in this case my server's htdocs folder, and take a look at the encoded result. Now a more advanced level of encoding is using obfuscation. Obfuscation converts source tags and names in the source code into cryptic names in order to make the code impossible to understand by others without affecting code execution. Please note that obfuscation should be used carefully since in some cases it may disrupt the source code. For example this auto load function once obfuscated won't work because it will be trying to load a non-existing class. To obfuscate our project we're going to select the project security tab. In the encoding and obfuscation methods area we can configure the obfuscation settings. You can select the type of elements in the source code you want obfuscated, variables, functions or classes, according to your security needs. You can exclude specific entities from being obfuscated using the exclude list tab. After saving your changes, run the encoding action again, this time with the selected obfuscation configurations. Other than encoding and obfuscation, you can grant use of your software to users by creating a license. In addition to usage, licenses can hold additional details pertaining to the number of users, license expiration, and additional means for enforcing usage to authorized users only. We're going to go back to the security tab, and our first step is to select the Enable License Support option in the Licensing area. Next, we're going to generate a license key, which is actually the algorithm upon which the license is built. This is easily done by clicking Configure License Keys, and in the License Keys Preferences dialog, clicking Generate. Back in the Security tab, the license key is displayed in the drop-down menu. Our next step is to click Generate Product License File. In the Product License Wizard that's displayed, we're first going to enter the product name and the name of the registered owner. We're then going to select a name and target location for the generated license file. and in the guard private key area the license key is already selected from before. We also have the option to set an expiration date for the product. In this case let's set a trial period of one month before the license expires. In the next dialog we can configure more advanced licensing options. We can limit product usage according to IP numbers or using even stricter restrictions, we can tie usage of our source code to specific machine hardware, such as the machine's hard disk, by adding a list of Zen host IDs. These IDs are supplied by your customer by running the Zend ID program supplied as a standalone component 
and with Zen Guard itself. For detailed instructions on generating these Zen host IDs, please refer your customers to this online help page. Once you've received all the IDs from your customer, all you have to do is select the Zen host IDs checkbox and add them to the Zen host IDs window. Once we're done, we can click Finish and the license file is created in the defined location. Save your project, encode it, and send it to a customer with the license file. Please note that trying to open the encoded project won't work because there's one more step that needs to be done which is to define the exact path to the license file in our server's PHP INI file. Using Zen Server, this is done by accessing the Zen God Loader directives on the Components page. Now let's try to load our fabulous Hello World application again. That's it for now. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. If you have any ideas for improving Zen Guard that you'd like to share with the Zen Guard team, please don't hesitate to contact Zen. For more detailed information on additional features of Zen Guard, please refer to the online documentation at www.zen.com.